Hello everyone, today our topic is how to send MySQL data to Google Sheets. So here our objective is that whenever we get new data in our MySQL database, then we want to add this data in our Google Sheets automatically. For that, we will create an integration between MySQL and Google Sheets. For creating this integration, we are going to use Pavli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pavli Connect, we are going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, we are going to use MySQL. In Action application, we are going to use Google Sheets. So how I am going to create this integration? For that, let me take it to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are working with MySQL and Google Sheet. So here in my MySQL database, I'm getting the data. And here, what I want is, that whenever I get a new data in my MySQL database, then I want to add that data automatically in my Google Sheet. And for this, I'll create an integration between MySQL and Google Sheet. And for creating this integration, I'll open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. Here, these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I'll click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. and this will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now we want to create a new workflow. For that, I'll click here on create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I'll name it as my objective, which is to send MySQL data to Google Sheets automatically. And I will select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'll select home and I will click on create. And it will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we will set up our trigger first and here my trigger application will be MySQL. So I will search for that. I will select this. Now I have to give a trigger event. So I'll open this tab. New row in a table will be my trigger event. So I'll select this. And I will connect my SQL with Pabli Connect. So I'll click on connect. I will click on add new connection. And to connect my SQL, I have to give all these details. So I'm going to fill all these details here. So I have filled all my details here. Now I'm going to click on save. So my connection is successful. Now I have two details here, table name and the unique column. Now for this, let's go to my SQL. So in this database, we are using this table, which is new contacts. I'll open this. And in this, we have this contact ID, which is my unique ID. So I'm going to map these details in Pabli Connect. I'll go back to Pabli Connect. And my table name is new contact and my unique column is contact ID. Now I will add data in my MySQL database. Now let's go back to my SQL. I'll refresh this. And here we can see we have this new data. So the first name is new, last name is contact, email is new contact at the rate pablitudes.com and we have this random phone number. Now I will go back to Pabli Connect and I will click on save and send test request button. And here we have this new response. So my unique ID is three and this is the random mobile number. My first name is new, last name is contact and the email is new contact at the rate pablitudes.com and the contact ID is three. And if you don't get this response instantly, don't worry. This is a polling based response. So it might take some time to get this response about one hour. And in every one hour, it will send the new data to Pabli Connect. Now we have these details and what we want is we want to add these details automatically in our Google Sheet. So for that, we will set up our action. And in my actions tab, I'll open this tab. Here, I'm going to search for my action application, which is Google Sheets. I'll select this. I have to give an action event. So I'll open this tab and add new row will be my action event. 
Now I will connect my Google Sheet. I will click on add new connection. I will sign in with Google. I will click on allow to give access to my account. So my connection is successful. And here we have these details. Now for this, let's go to Google Sheet. And this is my Google Sheet. And we are using this spreadsheet, which is MySQL data. And we are using Sheet 1. So we have this column here, contact ID, first name, last name, email, and the mobile number. So we are going to map all these details in Public Connect. Let's go back to Public Connect. And my spreadsheet is MySQL data. So I'm going to select that. And here we can see all the details have changed according to my spreadsheet. So now we have these details, contact ID, first name, last name, email, and the mobile number. So I'm going to map these details. And for that, I'm going to use mapping here. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I'll click here, I'll open this response and I'm going to map my contact ID first. Similarly, I will map my first name. Now the last name, email and the mobile number. So these are all my details. Now I'm going to click on save and send touch request button. And here we have the response. So this has added this data automatically in my Google Sheet. Now to check this, let's go to Google Sheets. And here we can see we have added this new row and the contact ID is three. First name is new, last name is contact, email is new contact at the rate pablitudes.com and this is the random phone number. So we have added this new row and this is the data that we had in our MySQL database and we have added that data automatically in my Google Sheet. So our integration between MySQL and Google Sheet is working successfully. Now let's go back to Public Connect. And here we have created this integration between MySQL and Google Sheet such that whenever we are getting a new data in MySQL database, then we are adding that data automatically in our Google Sheet. And let's summarize what we did here. So first we have set up our trigger and my trigger application was MySQL and my trigger event was new row in a table. Then we have set up my action and my action application was Google Sheets and my action event was add new row. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these application, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this using Public Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.